Good morning, my Tubies, my TikToker, Sheila True Love, this fine Tuesday morning. I'm heading out to the office, but before I go to the office, I always like to make a couple of videos. I try to do five to seven videos a day. What I want to talk about is don't believe the hype. Don't believe the hype. Women have got to understand that they don't have to go around chasing men, you know, because women are most certainly the prize. Without further ado, my darling, let's go. They think women want men as much as men want women, and that ain't the goddamn case. I mean, she is the gift that just keeps giving. And of course, that statement reminded me of something. I don't know if anybody remembers, but a little while back, there was a study about how cis had men and women perceive each other's attractiveness. And I, I, I couldn't find it for the life of me, but I did find this. Most men find most women to be at least somewhat attractive. In contrast, women on average view 80% of men as below average in attractiveness. Another study found that on the dating app Tinder, men liked more than 60% of the female profiles they view, while women liked only 4.5% of male profiles. When I first heard this statistic, I was like, damn. <laughs> I mean, I knew it was bad out here for these men, but I didn't know it was that bad. One of the things that the patriarchy did is make women think that men were the prize. When in reality, they never have been. When I see stats like this, it's just more confirmation of that reality. This is how they brainwashed women into chasing dudes as if dudes are worth being chased. We don't lie them hoes. Only, we only find 20% attractive. We only click in on 6.5% of their dating profiles. This patriarchy has top-notch stellar women out here chasing after these dusty, musty, crusty. Only 20% of which we're actually even attracted to. I just want women to realize we've been calmed. We've been bamboozled. It's time to take off the patriarchy beer goggles. We are baddies. They are dusties. 60% of us are seen as viable dating option and only 4.5% of them are. I mean, the disproportion is disgusting. So next time you want to shed a tear over that dusty motherfucker who has zero ambition in life and is emotionally, mentally, spiritually, and physically draining you, remember these stats, girl. The numbers are in our favor, not theirs. Stop putting them on pedestals because they never belong there in the first place. So there you have it, folks. I've always considered women to be the prize. When you think about how God created a woman to be a man's helper and not the other way around. So who really needs who the most? I mean, uh, if you want to have children, then of course we need each other because without the man's sperm or semen, uh, women, uh, it, it, it's not going to happen if you want children. You know, other than that, yeah, you know, God created a woman as a man's helper because he obviously needs it. Uh, I think men have have a problem with um, knowing what's important, what's important, and what's not. Because I think about how you have so many men who are willing to lose good wives, who's willing to lose their children. You know, when it comes to men, what I've learned, and you know, it, just because you're becoming more refined and seasoned, that don't mean that you stop learning. What I've learned when it comes to men is that, well, actually boys, because men, they know how to have self-control and discipline. But, but what we have out here is a large number of broken little boys. It's hard to find a, a man these days. You know, uh, uh, you know, I think about how their eggplant, that's number one. That comes first. That comes before anything. That comes before God. That comes before Jesus. That becomes before their friends, their family, their children. I mean, why would you sit here and risk losing all of that just for something you can do for yourself, if you know what I mean? And when you're tired of that, you have a perfectly good wife over there who knows how to take you to the promised land. But you have so many men who are willing to risk and lose everything, everything, just for the big O. And you can bring that for yourself. Go in the bathroom, handle your business, come on out here and act like you have some sense. 
So women have always got to understand that we are the prize. Women have a, a, a large amount of options out here. You know, men have options. Like they say, maybe for one man, there's maybe seven or 10 women, but are these good women? Are they good women? A lot of these women are narcissists, bipolar, don't want to take their medication. I'm not trying to knock people who have that uh, bipolar or a lot of these women are psychopaths, sociopaths. A lot of these women have schizophrenia. So just because you have uh, more to pick from, but are they healthy? That's what you have to keep in mind. So women... Stop chasing after these men. I look at Kendra G and I see so many women who are still, as far as I'm concerned, stuck on stupid. They're still out here looking for drama, looking to be abused, looking for uh, uh, misery, looking to have anxiety and stress. They're still out here chasing after that. You know, and I look at Kendra G just to see how many women are still not woke and how many women are still out there sleepwalking and women who feel that these uh, imperfect men, these imperfect, fickle, shallow, superficial dudes can do so much more for them than Jesus Christ. The only thing I can see is I guess they want the sex part. And maybe a lot of these women, their love language is physical touch. You can have your family members hug you. You can find that. You can have a gay man who's not interested in, you know, violating God's laws in terms of fornication, you can have them hug you because you have a lot of gay men who are on their spiritual journey and they are celibate. They're celibate. Find yourself one of those. You can lay up with them and hug all night, hug each other. You have the sisterhood, women supporting women, women helping other women to heal and nurturing other women. That's a beautiful thing. Remember again, stop chasing these men, ladies. You are the prize.